How's it going everyone? Here's the open source tomb video for my Supra that everyone voted on. Um, you guys wanted to see the Supra, so I decided to do one for it. It is a speed tune for A-Class, 5.1 handling, 8.9 acceleration, and a, a lot of speed and power, uh, 917 horsepower. So let's get into the uh, the build here. So first off, conversion. Um, swap the engine to the uh, 5.2 V10 and then leave it rear wheel drive and put the turbos into it. And then aero, um, Forza front and uh, rear wing. Um, if you guys feel like it, you can put a body kit on. I did just because, why not? Um, the body kit won't do too much. It, it might affect your top end a little bit. Um, but as you saw that the side skirt did actually bring the PI down and no hit on it For tires I left the uh, the compound stock and Then the front tire width is upgraded once and then the rear tire width is upgraded to 230 or uh, 325s And then any rim um, within this weight class is uh, is acceptable um, the Tenzo R DC six V ones. Uh, any rim that weighs the same amount will uh, will be good for you. No clutch, of course. Um, transmission stock. Drive line. Put the street drive line in, and then of course put a race differential in it. And then over to platform and handling. Everything is um is upgraded to race even the roll cage for this one and then over to the engine everything is upgraded here pretty much except for i left the flywheel out uh the intercooler is in though so everything to race in the engine area even cams and even the turbos um, get that max horsepower out of the engine so on to the tune, I've got a uh, front tire pressure 29, rear 28, uh, obviously gearing is stock, um, alignment uh, negative 3.8, negative 3.2, 0, 0 and 6.0, and on to the roll bars, uh, 29.62, 27.36, uh, springs 659.8, and 636.0 and then uh, I have this car all the way to the ground because it's still got a decent amount of ride height um, when it's as low as it can go damping 8.9 9.9 .9, uh, 3.2 and 4.4 arrow maxed out and then brakes is preference but I run 47 and 145 on pretty much all my cars and then differential it's a little bit crazy on the Excel but it helps it get out of corner. So acceleration 85 and then deceleration is 16. So hopefully you guys have some fun with this car. This car will run well around speed tracks obviously for how much speed it has. So something like Road America it'll it'll do very well on. Um, it'll also succeed around Bathurst, um, stuff like that. It, it runs very well around Le Mans Le Sarth. Um, any speedy tracks that you can think of uh, it'll run Sebring all right, and um, it's uh, it's definitely a very fast car. It's a little bit slidey once you get into the uh, the low end of the uh, the speed it's when you have to go in and uh, accelerate out of low speed corners. But it's uh, it's still pretty easy to drive, and it's extremely fast. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Um, don't forget to like it and uh, check out some of my more uh, some more of my open source tune videos. And of course, I have the biggest tune on Forza, so go check that out online on the uh, on the Forza forums. Lots of good stuff up there. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you enjoy this car. I I personally really like it. It's a it's a lot of fun to drive. So enjoy, everyone, and have a wonderful day. Can you feel that?